What's going on there guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Craft of War Taste. Somewhat on location, but I'm not too far from home. I'm actually just in my backyard. <laughs> it's uh, 90 degrees here today in beautiful northern New Jersey, so I figured I'd pop outside from the bar and uh, do a review from my backyard. Um, it's pretty hot, but I actually kind of dig hot. So yeah, figured come out here, a little change of scenery for everybody, all right? And so obviously since I'm at home, in New Jersey, it's only appropriate that I dive into a beer from Cane Brewing Company out of Ocean, New Jersey. This is their Sneak Box. Yeah, so Sneak Box is their American Pale Ale coming in at 5.4% ABV. All right, so let's dive straight into the review. Let's pop a top on this guy, take a look at the appearance, get the aroma, taste it, and of course we're going to rate it. All right, so let me try to... Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> uh, get this guy into that hashtag proper cane glassware. All right. Jeez. Wow. Just throwing that everywhere. All right. Lovely. A slight bit of mess with whatever. Okay, so how does she look? Beer pours, man. That is, for Kane at least, that is super full on haze, man. Uh, medium to light kind of gold color, uh, bordering almost kind of hay. Full on New England style kind of uh, look. Uh, borderline literally turkey gravy, man. Like that's literally probably the haziest beer I can ever remember having uh, from Cane. Uh, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. Has about a finger and a quarter of just kind of like this beautiful flight, uh, fluffy white kind of head. Um, looks absolutely awesome. You know, you know what it kind of looks like? You know when you look at like a head of a beer when you know it's going to be creamy? That's this. Like it just, you can kind of just see that. It looks absolutely fluffy, pillowy, and awesome. Uh, looks fantastic. I can already smell it. Let's dive our nose into it and get an aroma. Oh, God. Oh, man. I absolutely love that. So that is a huge, big Citra bomb that is literally an airplane flying over just huge, big, just ripe citrus in the form of just oranges, orange juice. Uh, a little bit of pineapple and pineapple juice there on the back end as well. Oh, man, that smells so freaking good. Uh, you know, it's funny. It, 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 it's got it. I know I probably shouldn't say this, but this is kind of how I describe like this aroma. It's treehousey, right? Like it's treehouse green. Uh, yeah, orange pineapple like sorbet absolutely freaking killer killer nose let's taste it cheers oh man oh wow it's 100 percent right in terms of the way that that beer produces that head it's one of the creamiest 5.4 percent pale ales um i can absolutely remember taste up front follows the nose huge 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 big bursts of citrus in the form of oranges then it's followed with tropical fruits like pineapple maybe like a little bit of mango maybe even just like a slight kind of like little hint of maybe peach there on the back end or like some type of kind of stone fruit it's got that bubblegum quality too that's so prevalent in a lot of kind of like treehouse beers, which I always thought was kind of produced from kind of treehouse's yeast. But obviously this is not treehouse, this is cane, and I'm getting a little bit of that kind of bubblegum quality there on the back end as well. But yeah, even in the taste, man, Jesus, pour myself a little bit more of that. That's absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, the taste is, like I said, it is kind of just big kind of citrus in the form of oranges up front, freshly kind of squeezed oranges, orange juice, followed by pineapple, pineapple juice, like uh, concentrated pineapple juice, um, but a little bit of kind of fluffy, airy, bubblegum kind of character going on in the background. Like, it is un believable um, Yeah, one of the legitimate best pale ales. I've ever had one of the best legitimate 5.4% beers I've ever had. Absolutely incredible. Amazing. Wow. All right, so let's go ahead and give her a rating. So Cane Brewing out of Ocean, New Jersey. Sneak Box, American Pale Ale, coming in at 5.4% ABV. Um, dead serious, for me, for my taste, uh, in my opinion, that is one of the best pale ales I think I've ever had. Seriously, legit. One of the singular best pale ales I've ever had. I would 
dare say I'd go so far as to put that up there with Hill Farmstead Edward. No joke. Um, so with that said, I am going to give the Kane Sneak Box a 4.5 caps, man. Yeah, that is an unbelievable pale ale. I'm so freaking happy I can get my hands on this now kind of regularly. Literally down the street from my house at Wegmans. Um, yeah, simply put, this is the best pale ale in the state of New Jersey. And it is one of the best pale ales I've ever had uh, in my life. Absolutely killer. 4.5% caps. Or excuse me, 4.5 caps for Cane Brewing's Sneak Box from the Craft of War Taste. That'll do it for this episode. Hope you join me again for another episode where I drink, I review, I rate, and I repeat. Cheers, guys.